Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, I mean, this is like every other video, but I am introducing you guys to some new animals that I got. These are two snakes that I wanted for a very, very long time now. Always just wanted these snakes and this really amazing opportunity came up where I was able to get a breeding pair of these snakes for a really good deal. Being that I've always wanted these snakes, they're literally one of my favorite types of snakes ever, and I also really want to get into breeding some snakes, not a ton of crazy stuff or anything, but just certain things that I really enjoy, and, you know, they're just really cool. Um, I decided to go ahead and go through with it. So, as I mentioned, I got a male and a female. I'll start off with showing you the female who is actually right behind me. Hello. So this is the female. I did end up getting a pair of Mexican black king snakes. So what I really love about Mexican black king snakes is they're all black for the most part. I mostly got it because it matches my coldest water bottle. That's the number one reason. Just kidding, though. Am I kidding? I'm kidding. They're really cool snakes. So this is the female. I named her Raven. I thought it was a fitting name for a black snake. Very original, I know. I think they're around four or five years old or something. And she actually laid eggs this year. She was bred. And he said that she has the potential to lay more eggs this year. So right now I have them in, I mean, I'm quarantining them down here. They're in very minimal setups. So if you don't see a whole lot in, in these enclosures, it's because they're kind of in like a quarantine, but I still have them on substrate and stuff. And I'm gonna pretty soon give her an area to lay eggs because she might be laying again. So I also might have Mexican black king snake babies available in the near future. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to follow Celestial Exotics on Instagram. Also check out celestialexotics.net, our online pet store, where we have free shipping. We only ship in the United States, however, and we have a huge array of products that are really helpful if you have reptiles. Make sure to check it out. We also have crested gecko babies hatching pretty soon, which is exciting. And those will be available eventually as well. But I'm really excited about the Mexican black king snakes. I don't want to bother her too much because she, you know, might be preggers. Or, you know, gravid is the proper term when talking about reptiles. I guess preggers isn't technically ever a very proper term to describe something that is about to give birth. Or in this case, lay eggs. And then down here, you might even see him, is the male. His name is Jethro. And... As you can see, he is much bigger than the female, which is kind of a good thing because in case you guys weren't aware, the reason king snakes are actually called king snakes is because in the wild, they eat a variety of things, one of them being other snakes. Very cool, very hardcore. Although they eat snakes in the wild, you don't need to replicate that exact diet in captivity they can live a perfectly fine and healthy life on rodents. But I've seen some people feed their king snakes like ball pythons and stuff. Usually I think people who like breed ball pythons, if they have a baby that hatches that isn't thriving, then they'll feed it to a king snake or something, which I think is fine because it's better than it going to waste. But it's interesting to see these guys eat another snake. And then what you'll probably notice in the background again is their enclosures. So these are both vision cages, which are one of my favorite types of enclosures for keeping snakes in. In my opinion, vision cages are just the best quality and the most sturdy enclosures you can get. So this one up here I've had forever. I'm not 100% sure on the model of this one, but this is the very first snake enclosure I ever got, actually. And this is what I kept Monty, my first snake my ball python in when he was smaller and then eventually I upgraded him and 
Then I just recently got this enclosure for the big male king snake. This is the Vision Cage model 422, and the dimensions are 18 inches high by 48 long by 28 deep. So it's a really nice sized enclosure, and what I also really love about it is there's a six inch dome vent. I have a deep heat projector in there and that's the heat source I'm using for the king snake. It's really cool because it's just in its own little crevice. So you can still stack these enclosures on top of each other without having to actually mount them on the inside. There's also a fluorescent vent. So you just want a fluorescent bulb or LEDs or whatever. A lot of other snake enclosures come in multiple different pieces that you have to like screw together and it's just a lot of setup and then it's not just completely sturdy because there's different pieces involved but since this is just one big unit you get it in the mail and it's there you don't have to put anything together it's sturdy you don't have to worry about anything falling apart or anything like that what i am really happy about this is actually something i suggested to them a while ago i was like please come out with different colors like do something darker like black or something like i'm begging you just come out with like a dark color. And here we are a couple years later and they finally come out with a darker color. So a lot of their vision cages are starting to come out in this color. So it's kind of like a darker gray and it still has the speckling in it, but I don't know what it is about it. I just like it so much more. I'll have the vision cage website linked down in the description below if you guys want to check it out. Vision cages come in all different shapes and sizes and different things. So even if you just need a smaller enclosure or if you need something even bigger than this, they have a huge selection and they're just really great quality. So yeah, the king snakes are really cool. I'm really excited to breed them. I'm hoping the female is going to lay some more eggs pretty soon. The whole breeding process with snakes is very interesting to me, probably mostly because I haven't done it before. But of course I was doing a lot of research on king snake breeding and a really big part of it is you're supposed to put the Mexican black king snakes into like a hibernation period in the winter. So that's gonna be interesting where you don't really feed them and you keep them at really cold temperatures. People often will put them in like a wine cooler just in a tub or something because they're literally like going into hibernation and they just don't move or eat or anything. And that's going to help stimulate their breeding response when spring comes around and they start to come up because that's typically the time that they're going to breed. I'm excited to do all of that and kind of document that process. Once again, make sure to shop at celestialexotics.net, our online pet store. Make sure to check out Vision Cages, which will be linked down in the description below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you guys are new here. All my social media links will be down in the description and I will see you guys in my next video.